strategies to harness complexity, whereas the old, the present approach would be to reduce <coughs> complexity by, as I said, squeezing it into this category of the genetic era. A new approach could keep on reducing complexity by using a scheme where certain realities are simplified in order to render it manageable but also act with an awareness that things are in flux, act with an awareness of complexity, organize for flexibility, connect the present and the future. Of course, we are not suggesting to throw out um, the achievements of the genetic era, the, the regulatory achievements of the genetic era, but rather complement them. Um, try out different ideas and strategies, stimulate collaboration. This, this is what's going on already. Um, communication and mutual learning and connect different system levels in collective problem solving and drawing up of scenarios. This is also something that's already happening now because where the personal genomics market is going to develop, in my view, it's, it's not going to survive as a standalone service, but it's probably going to be translated into different functional fields such as using it in the context of electronic health records where you can, in, where you can upload lifestyle information, um, medical records and also SNP-based whole genome information. And then that would certainly need a particular kind of regulation, also given that it's stored on the internet. So to conclude, policy making, as Hank has argued, is an interventionist discipline. So, so thinking about complexity should not, in our field, only entail representing it, but also thinking about the intervention part. What does it mean for actors? This requires a performative understanding of complexity.